Hello and welcome to another video where today we're going to be reacting to another one of my really old FNAF theories. Now I am always scared to do this, uh, well, this is only the second time I've done this, but um, I'm always scared to do it because I was cringy. <laughs> I was very cringy. Now, if you didn't see the last episode, I suggest going and watching it. Uh, it's this video right here. Um, it's quite funny, I think. It's one of my funnier videos. Um, but we're actually going to just show you quickly uh, how you see my old videos. All you do is click sort by and then date added oldest. And then it will take you to this page. So here we've got all of these different videos from three years ago three years ago. I've been doing YouTube for like eight years, but uh, these are all videos from three years ago. So, all we're going to do is um, scroll a little bit down, and this is the video. <laughs> 1,000 views instead of 12,000. So you can tell my, my channel kind of dropped. It it peaked at, at first creation, at first video. So, all we're going to do is make sure my TV is not, not too loud, so there's no echo. Uh, and we're going to watch uh, FNAF. You are entered FNAF theory number two. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I I haven't seen this in a very long time. Um, sorry, my entire face has gone red. It's because of the colour of the screen. Um, let's let's do this. Let's. Oh my god. This one's only seven minutes long, opposed to like nine from the first one. Anyway. Not very loud. That's better. <laughs> okay, that's my old, old intro. My old, old intro. <laughs> uh, for science appliance. Uh, I had it. That's that's one thing to know. I had it now. Like, on the first theory video, I didn't have this. I didn't have that intro bit. But I now have it. Which is good. Well, Recently. is it? Sister location has got a huge update involving the custom night that honestly yeah. I didn't know how they were going to do. Okay, yeah, so so I, I made this video. The motivation for this video is the fact that the two new, well, the ultimate custom night, sorry, not the ultimate, the custom night of Sister Location came out and um, these two new cutscenes came out and I was like, okay, I'm going to be the first one on this. I'm going to be the first one to make a video on it. Uh, this video probably took another, like, <laughs> 10 hours or something. Also, I want to see these uh, these thingies. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like FNAF Sister Location? Let's see. Uh, wow, a lot of people voted on this as well, knowing that uh, it's about a thousand views. Um, so most people says 11, which is <laughs> above 10. Uh, and that nobody says it's not bad, but everyone says it's terrible. Well, 2% of people say it's terrible. Uh, which is understandable. I don't really like it. I would put it about. I would put it not bad. I would say it's around about a six or five point five. I don't really like this location. And would you like me to continue the series? Oh, not as many. Not as oh, some people are maybe, <laughs> but not as many that time. Anyway. But they did it well. <laughs> they to add a few secrets along with the ride as well. For God's sake! Like I you know, scared no myself. I scared myself three years later. How did I not realise that that was there? Hang on, let's let's watch the full thing because I didn't watch Dude. it properly. But they did it well. Location has got a huge update involving the custom night. That honestly, I didn't know how they were going to do. But they did it well. I don't know why that's there. It's absolutely pointless. As well. And I don't know if you noticed, but the latest cutscenes are so crucial for theorising FNAF as a whole. <laughs> So let's get down to work. If you didn't know, Cawthon has released this version of Sister Location with two new cutscenes. Oh my so god, today, what we... theory did I get video of this stupid character? It's not even cool. <laughs> I, at the time I thought, oh my god, I'm like a like a designer of characters and I can I can draw. <laughs> but uh looking back now, no. Like one of the eyeballs is in the hair. It, it, like it's very scrappy and all the shadows are wrong. Oh my god. To look at them and find out what it all means. So let's not waste any time because I'm telling you I have so much to tell you. You've just about. wasted about a minute. The first cut scene is just weird. Or at least ends weird. 
It begins with this guy in a purple shirt walking down the street with people waving to him. Correct. Not that weird. Oh god. But as that transition. Things, oh. As you can see, start to change. For one, this guy's skin begins going grey or brown or green or or whatever. It goes murky and purple. For a second point, people purple. Start to support, wait, wait. I said every colour except the colour that he was. Oh my. For goodness sake. Also, why does my camera keep? Hello, focus, thank you. Well, yeah, there we go. While others frown. Later on again in the scene, you see him going, yes, you guessed it, purple. Oh, okay, I'm just really his eyeballs fall out, quick. His clothes get tattered, he basically becomes purple guy. More on that later. Oh no! Oh no! No! I just realised what this theory is. It's the theory that this is purple guy. <laughs> no! Oh. And it gives it more evidence for like William being the protagonist and sister location. This is one of my worst theories, I reckon. Um, although actually, people believed it. People, people, I, I believed it. <laughs> Weird. Look at this next cutscene. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's, it's pitch black. Let me turn it's the camera me, on. Michael. Listen. I couldn't hear that. I Thank you. I found it. It was, it was right, right where you said it would be. be. They were all there. They didn't <sighs> recognize me at first, but then they thought I was you. <laughs> and I found her. I put her back together, just like you asked me to. She's free now. But something is wrong with me. Hmm. What are you going to say about this science be. appliance? But I'm not. I've been living in shadows. There is only one yeah, purple thing guy. <laughs> for me to do now. I'm, I'm going, going, to going to come find you. Find you. I'm, I'm going, going to come find you. Did you see it? <laughs> Spring trap suit? The prison bars? The burnt down atmosphere? These two cuts <laughs> nice are blue. surprisingly the answer nice blue to the frame there. The last video. Who are you? You are William Afton. But, uh, like I thought you were going to say purple video. guy. I said that there is more evidence of it oh, not nice being animation. than it being. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Oh no. Can we skip over this Why? piece? Thank you. Let me show you in the way that I'm probably just going to improvise at this point. Where the heck are we I'm, in this I'm pretty situation? sure in videos in the past where I said uh, this is completely improvised, I'm pretty sure it was in the script. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just wrote it all out. I mean, I, I okay, disclaimer for anybody who watches FNAF Unsolved. Um, FNAF Unsolved is script. Script is script. Is scripted. Uh, season 2 is scripted. Um, the only reason it is scripted is because we, like we want to make sure that there is enough content for you because it's really hard to improvise and make jokes on the spot uh, especially for me <laughs> um, but anything else natural that comes to us we just completely improvise uh, and it makes for quite good videos um, a lot of this in fact all of this is scripted all of this none of this is improvised which is kind of better for these FNAF theories that people do I'd, I'd rather write a script for it and dedicate my time to it than completely improvise it because you just don't really know where it's going to go with that um, but yeah th this is all scripted and I make a lot of jokes sometimes well not really jokes but I say that it's improvised and it's just it isn't <laughs> all of this is in the script a short term answer is in the basement of the purple guy's house how do we know it? For a first, when you type 1983 in the keypad in the secret ending, Ennard room. I think it's 1987. TVs display no, I don't pictures know. of the FNAF 4 house. Not enough evidence? How about the, um, the, the thing I was going to say just then when I opened my mouth, um, is if you're, if you, I don't know how to say this. What these videos needed, uh, was music and sound effects. And also, I've got marks on my 
hand. Uh, basically, yeah, you, you need sound effects and music to make any video like 10 times better, if you know what I mean. This is really bland and it's really, it's just me talking. If there was music and, and like the, the beat dropped when I went like, and it was below Afton's house. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's a bad example, but you know what I mean. I It would be better if there was music to it, uh, even sound effects, like... <sighs> okay. How about the Golden Freddy sitting on the desk with you? All around the house in Five Nights 4. They could be oh god, don't zoom in. To make sure that the children <laughs> are doing well. Still not enough evidence? Well, how about the map of the whole place? Does it look familiar? Because it yes, but that doesn't mean it's William Afton. It's the exact same layout shape as the house in the Oh, I, I'm just saying, yeah, it's below the house, yeah. It's either yeah. an amazing coincidence, this place is above the house, or it's below the house. And as I said before, it's most likely to be below the house because you go down an elevator to get yeah. to the crook. Good point. Good. That's like the first good point you've made in these videos. So we know it is below the house. What on earth has that got anything to use to prove? A lot actually. But to do this systematically, let's begin with the two cutscenes. Cutscene A has an ending where the purple guy literally pukes out loads of metal into a sewer place. But think about it for a second. Is this Ennard? Could very well be. Oh god. Notice that not only is he a Is this an end? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you guys need to make like uh like remixes <laughs> or like make a song out of all of these really stupid moments in these videos. That would be great. Huge scrap of metal. But he also has eyes. More than the two on his face. One of the not they're not just eyes though, are they? It shows that Ennard is an amalgamation of the sister location animatronics, uh, and and you also see eyes going into the sewers, which means it is Ennard, and therefore Michael has gotten scooped. Now, um, yeah, this this doesn't. I don't know where I'm going with this. I I think I just made it up on the spot and then scripted it. The whole game is pretty much about eyes. Laura's eyes closed, baby switch of eye, kill, of eye colour. That is true. Eyes being that is actually true. Also, as I just said, Ennard's many eyeballs. Even if you can't see Ennard's full body, you can see it in his jump scare. Right here, underneath his nose, right there is in one clear eye. And also, one not so clear eye. But does this actually mean anything? This could lead to our belief. Whoa, 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 whoa. what does that prove, though? Well, okay, sure, there's an eye beneath his nose in the jump scare, but does that just mean he's got eyes all over his body, or does that... What does that prove? <laughs> I just made a point. I just made a point on Scott's amazing lighting <laughs> and shadowing. And it is the one in the sewer. Spat out by the purple guy for two reasons. Firstly, at the end of the cutscene, many eyes appear in the gap, and secondly, and most significant, Said by just one. You should have said the same colour. There's a part of me in every body. Yeah, that is true. Don't know where that's from. That is true. The teaser images. The teaser image of Ennard. Oh God! There's Don't you know if you zoom in, in then it gets like body. pixelated? <laughs> if you are an official grammar Nazi, don't worry, I am too. Then you will. I'm not. Notice there is a space between every and body. You would all assume that Actually, I kind of am. I, I am <laughs> thinking about it. I, I do like good grammar. Bad grammar really... Um, I was going to swear, but I'm, I'm not going to. It really annoys me. Um, but this did this did actually kind of... Yeah, I, I liked this. I liked this. Everybody. But as confirmed, you would be wrong. This is an intentional mistake, if you like. Every body. Intentional mistake, body. yes, that exists. So saying that Ennard is literally, or for this matter, physically in everyone's body is huge. He was inside of the purple guy's body. He was inside Baby's body. He is like a soul controlling everyone. Also, for more evidence of this, 
that cutscene where he be rolling down the street, he be rolling to the beat. Oh my no. I'm so cringy. I'm actually. <laughs> Oh, why did I never realise I was this cringy when I was doing these videos? Someone should have told me in the comments. ...of his body. He just stands up. He'd be rolling He'd be down the fine. street. He'd be He'd rolling to the beat. What the hell beat. just happened to me? I mean, that's what I would say to the least, but... Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here for today. So if you want me to get more, and have loads of more, comment down below. Like and subscribe. And what did I just say? Info card right now. If you would like this. Oh, and my YouTube has just completely frozen. Um, I want to. I want to watch another one. I'm going to watch number three. Because this isn't massive video, so. Let's watch number three. So, it's interesting. You'll see. Uh, this was three years ago. This was three years ago. Then I did just loads of science plant stuff and gaming. But then you realize, like. Like, this video has been up for three years, and it's got ten views. <laughs> like, that is ridiculous. And, um, all of these have got, ri like, views below a hundred. Right? And that was literally... I'd say that was literally for, like, a year. And then, I think I actually lost my channel. <laughs> Again. And then I got it back, uh, and then I made some other stupid videos. Uh, and then I realised that... Wait. I, sh I should be smart about this. I should actually just make FNAF videos. <laughs> um, so that's what I carried on doing. Uh, and then we come here to one year later, Orange Guy Unmasked. So, remember, the first two episodes um, were both about Sister Location when it first came out, when the Custom Night first came out as well. Then, a year later, I make another one when FNAF 6 comes out. So, we're going to watch Orange Guy Unmasked, FNAF Theory 3. I'm telling you, I think this is Grandpa Afton Theory. I actually think it's Grandpa Afton Theory. And if you don't know what that is, uh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> 21,000 views. So, the first one was 12,000, the second one was 1,000, and the third one is at 21,000, with 360 likes! I don't even get 360 views on some of my FNAF, FNAF, FNAF Unsolved! It's got 126 comments as well. And I love how someone said this video deserves slightly more attention than it does. Oh, you guys are so sweet. <laughs> Let's watch this. Very interested i think scott i swear you are the internet's biggest troll oh yeah by the way guys freddy fazbear's pizzeria simulator coming soon when i thought soon just want to say i remember seeing a comment like age like ages ago i remember seeing a comment on this video that was like you stole this all from matt pat yes yes i did this is literally the same format as uh, Matt Pat did when FNAF 4 came out randomly, unexpectedly. Uh, I literally just said the same words. <laughs> so I was not only bad at YouTube, well actually, no, let's just cover it all and say it. I'm just bad at YouTube about two years ago. I didn't think that you meant the next day. Jeez. Look at that, can you see that? Wait, uh... I don't know if you can see... Yeah, you can see that, right? That is copyright. <laughs> I used a copyright picture. Brilliant. First you bring in phone guy. Then there's purple guy. Then there's pink guy. My editing got worse. Or more lazy. What the heck? If you didn't know, the new FNAF game came out yesterday and it blew up. It blew up so hard. Although, yeah, they could have done with an explosion there. Negative towards Scott. I would for once like to applaud him as well, because what he has done here is he has created a fantastic game that can help us to put together some pieces of. I'm net. telling you, this. The editing got worse because I scrapped that character. Actually, before I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, me from three years ago, but. That character did actually kind of save the video <laughs> back in those days. 
this is more boring. This is so... Li it's literally just FNAF 6 with a few pictures on the top of it. It's very boring. But at the same time, leaving us wondering so many questions. For example... Yeah, it's f yeah FNAF 6 was supposed to do that. FNAF 6 was supposed to completely just... Um, like tie loose ends but also loosen some um, get us thinking a little bit more what's in the box <laughs> all the pieces put together however the box hasn't been opened yet so now is my chance to input my really name. the box First of all, as you may know there are a lot of easter eggs in the new game and i mean a lot animatronic designs new settings and a new guide more on that later. First of all, let me address the elephant in the room. No, seriously, the, the, the elephant. Along with the frog, ha -ha. the hippo, the bear, and the pig. Yes, all of these new animatronics are actually important. In the FNAF 3 minigame, we can see four children... Oh, for God's sake! That was such a bad joke. Like, my joke making is so bad even when it's scripted. I was saying before how my improvised jokes are, are really bad, but they're probably better than scripted jokes, honestly. I mean, I can say a few dad jokes, but... <laughs> Around a table with masks on them. Of a frog, a hippo, a bear, and a pig. Yeah, so and this one. a lot of people online were calling fanimatronics, what they really were were large teasers to FNAF 6. Strange, huh? Now, wasn't really a teaser. Some of the mini games. Wouldn't say teaser. Candy for death. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy, candy, candy. Oh no, not candy, cadet. Oh wait, you could actually be useful to us. Could you please tell us your three stories? I thought we were doing Midnight Motorist. Why am I talking about Candy Cadet and the uh, um, mediocre melodies? Now I will tell you a story. A story about oh, a I don't want a story. Visit five oh, orphans and okay. bring them toys and gladness. There was a knock at the door. <laughs> now I will tell you a story about oh, a young woman. Are you serious? Literally half of this is Candy Cadet. Of course it is. And it... Okay. So, I've called this video Orange Guy Unmasked and five minutes of it has got nothing to do with Orange Guy. Brilliant. Fantastic. Open. The snake went to the shoebox, chose a kitten at random, and ate it. After five nights had gone by, the boy was full of regret, and cut snake open. He pieced the remains cut together, snake open. and put the kitten back into the shoebox. Notice the similarities between the stories. Each one of them has, in some way, the number five involved, and the death five people. What could this mean? Well, we can't be sure right now, but I'm thinking it's to do with five kids in each of the three locations, which would relate to the story. But I'll tell you something that doesn't uh, relate to the story, or at least that's what you think. Is this dude? Yes! So hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, yeah. hang on. So I talked about the mediocre, mediocre, mediocre melodies, and I didn't clear anything up about that. I talked about Candy Cadet, I didn't clear anything up about that. So really, with um, well, with exactly two minutes remaining, I don't th really think I'm going to clear anything up on Orange Guy. <laughs> Let's Orange see. Guy. Never seen him in my life. But I do believe this is William Afton. Or, who we know as, Purple Guy. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. did I actually think that? I thought I just went straight to Grandpa Afton. I think maybe I went I went William Afton and I was like, nah, it must be Grandpa Afton because then William would run off to that place again. <laughs> but I actually seem to think this is William Afton before all of the hate. Let's just quickly talk about that to clear some things up. There's a lot of controversy on whether or not the purple guy is actually purple, but I know for a fact well, that well. He is just expressed as a shadowy figure. And we can tell this because shadows in these games, especially in FNAF 4, are not black. At this point, do I know that Michael Afton is the other purple guy? His biology. 
It's just a way Scott is betraying a certain character. Correct. So, where's the evidence that Mr. Afton is the orange guy? Well, not a lot of evidence is provided there. I can answer the question with one piece of evidence to leave you with the fact that... Yeah, the correlation between the sitting down and watching TV. Brilliant. If I end it here, I'm going to be so mad at myself. We're sat in a chair watching TV. In this house, there is a boy sat in a chair watching TV. Of course, this could be any chair on any TV, right? However, it is in the right place for it to be Afton's, as it is in the middle of these outside rooms, and the door is down here, where Ennard enters at the end of sister location. He does enter from the right, that's a good point. Oh, well, sorry. I have some more evidence for all of this intertwined map. No, you don't. And I have some questions and answers. The other thing I want to say, like the like this like the thing I said about the improvisation before, is at the end of the video when I go, oh, you have to wait until next video to find out what this all really means and what the real theory behind all of this is. I actually mean. I have no idea what's going on here. Let me think about it and uh, maybe try and answer it next video. <laughs> because I'm making all this all this theory rubbish on the spot. I'm literally I haven't got a full theory. I don't know who the hell Orange Guy is, but I do know that uh, <laughs> you can watch this video and then by the time you've watched it, I will know. Maybe. I think that's gonna be it for today. Uh, as you say, uh, as, as, as I say uh, on the screen right here, stay tuned, stay tuned for more. And um, I am actually going to do another reaction um, today. So hopefully you will see that soon. You will see that soon after this video uploads. Um, I will be doing a reaction to a FNAF timeline. Um, but I will I will do that later on. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Um, please do like and smash that smash that like button and give it a like and make sure you like to. If this hits 50 likes then I will do a silly dance in a video. <laughs> please don't let it hit 50 likes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Goodbye!